In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, I welcome you to Growing in Grace, your daily inspiration program here at Caption TV. With you this week, I'm Sister Frida K. Meriti from the Congregation of Nazareth Sisters of the Annunciation. Today is Thursday in the 16th week of the ordinary time. We reflect on the theme, continuously searching for God's kingdom. In the first reading, God's relationship with his people Israel is compared to the intimacy and passion of new love between a bride and bridegroom. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 2 says that the people were devoted to God like a bride to her husband. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 4 to 11 says that this relationship between God and his people Israel was so short-lived because as soon as the Israelites entered the promised land, they turned to the worship of other gods in order to find satisfaction. On the other hand, the reading demonstrates the never-failing love and tender heart of our Father in heaven. The prophet Jeremiah warns us against breaking the heart of God when we stray from his love in search of comfort, consolation, and satisfaction in that which is disguised as the remedy to our problems to our difficult situations, or even the hard challenges of our lives. Yet, they draw us from the faith and love of God. The reading also warns us against our seasonal and short-lived intimacy with God. When our closeness with God is only dependent on our conditions, or when only difficulties and desolations make us conscious of our need for God, and we have no need for Him in times of plenty and comfort. That is sad, for it does not last. We are called to the awareness that every period in our lives has God's mark lesson and purpose on it. Our total dependence on God in every situation, whether good or bad, comforting or difficult, or form us into powerful vessels of his glory. Our encounter with the divine intervention enables us to become prophetic in the world announcing the truth about God's kingdom and transforming human hearts as we witness to God's love every day. The gospel directs us to the need to search for a deeper meaning of God. It also invites us to open our hearts to the loving word of God to understand God's deeper revelation through his word and through the people we serve as well as the events of our lives. As we seek our way to his kingdom, which is the ultimate goal of our faith. This is only possible if we constantly keep praying, saying, Lord Jesus, may your grace be sufficient for me today and always, that I may take one day at a time and faithfully do God's holy will. May God bless you. 
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.